How do you add 514 plus 253 using an open number line? In this lesson, you will learn how to add within 1,000 by using an open number line. Let's review. Numbers can be broken down into place value with base 10 blocks. For example, the number 654 can be broken into six hundreds, five tens, or 50, and four ones. Let's also review the commutative property of addition. It reminds us that numbers can be added in any order to find the same sum. Here is 11 stars plus 14 stars, which equals 25 stars. Because of the commutative property, we can switch the order of our add-ins to show 14 plus 11, which also equals 25. Open number lines are a tool that we can use to visualize adding. They also help us to count up by hundreds, tens, and ones. Because there are no markings, open number lines allow us to fill in numbers that match a number sentence. For example, here we could hop up by 200, then hop up 20, and then eight to find our sum. Add 243 plus 437. When we begin to draw an open number line, it's usually best if we start with the biggest add-end. In this case, the biggest add-end is 437. Next, we'll hop up by hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's hop by 200 first. It's important to keep track of where we land after each hop, so we think, what is 437 plus 200? It's 637 and we mark that number on our number line. Next, we look at the tens place. We need to hop up 40. Keeping track of where we landed, we add 637 plus 40 equals 677, and we mark that on the number line. Our last hop is our ones place, plus three. We think, what is 677 plus three? It's 680 and we mark that on the number line. We just completed 243 hops in three quick steps and found our answer. 243 plus 437 equals 680. A common misunderstanding is thinking you can only hop in order based on place value from hundreds down to ones. For example, in our last problem, we solved 243 plus 437 by hopping first up 200, then 40, then 3. But if it makes sense to hop in a different order, that's fine too. Here I might hop up 3 first, because 437 plus 3 is 440, and that's an easy number for me to work with. Next I might break my hundreds into two hops, plus 100, which equals 540, plus another 100, and then I land on 640. My next hop would be plus 40, and I would land on 680. Even though I hopped in a different order, I still hopped 243 times, which led me to the correct answer, 680. Solve 351 plus blank equals 738. Usually, we start with our biggest add-in, but right now there's only one, 351. We'll start there. But we also know our answer. It's 738. We can add that to the end of our number line. Now we just need to find out how many hops it will take to get from 351 to 738. And it's our job to hop in any combination that makes sense. So I think 351 plus 50 equals 401. I can hop up 50. Next, I'll hop up 401 plus 300, and that will get me up to 701. I'm getting really close to my answer, 738. I have to be careful not to go over. Hmm, 701 plus 30 equals 731. 
And now I only have a few hops left. 731 plus 7 equals 738. I found the answer. The next step is adding together all of the hops we took so that we can fill in the blank in our number sentence. We'll add our hundreds, tens, and ones. 300 plus 50 plus 30 plus 7 equals 387. So, 351 plus 387 equals 738. In this lesson, you have learned how to add within 1,000 by using an open number line.